It's finally spring. Well, it's supposed to be, but it's not even close. There's still snow in the fields and in the ditches, and there's more in the forecast this weekend. But it won't stay for long. It melts as soon as it hits the road. But there's no point in getting our cars ready. With all the snow we've had this year, it's gonna take a long time to melt. This is the most I've ever seen. Because of all the gravel they had to put down this year, our paved roads are becoming our gravel roads. It's not just you're destroying our front bumpers, it's destroying our wheels too. One of the very first videos I made, we actually painted Project Daily's stock BBSs, and they came out great. But now with all this gravel on the road, the paint is finally starting to chip. Now's the time to fix it. Depending on the wheel paint, this is relatively easy to do. So all you need is the original paint, which I have just a little bit left, which is the High Performance Granite by Duplicolor. A wet cloth and something to wipe off the dirt. I just washed my car and it's still dirty. <laughs> a little tiny bottle cap to put your spray paint in. And a little tiny brush. And then all you do is dab it and let it soak up and it's not too difficult. There is a lot of chips on each wheel, but the one I'm going to show you how to do because it's the biggest is the one right here. As you can see, you can see the original color of the BBS wheels. These weren't the gold wheels, they're actually the silver ones. So you could get BBSs in gold and silver and the owner of this car decided to buy it in silver. Also that is primer because we did prime before. That's probably why it has stayed on so well for so long but it can't hold up to our gravel roads, so it's time to fix it up. So the first thing, as always, when you're doing any paint is prep the area. So all I'm gonna do is just wipe it off with a wet cloth and then take a dry pack and then just dry it off. And then we are gonna take some of our Duplicolor paint, give it a good shake. and just put a little bit in top of a cap. Tiny, tiny, tiny paintbrush. Just put a little bit on the paintbrush. Just enough to coat it and then what you really do want to do is just dab it instead of painting it. This one's pretty big so it's not going to fill it completely but it'll probably work pretty well. Um, I'm also kind of doing this upside down so not gonna be the best job. Okay, so as you can see it's filled and actually it looks pretty good in the camera. It looks better in the camera than in real life. So then you pretty much just gotta let it dry and while we're letting it dry I'm gonna do the rest of the car. And there we go, we got all the wheels fixed up. There wasn't too many. It seems like the rear were much worse than the front. Don't know why, but that one chunk was the biggest one out of all the wheels. I'm not sure how that even happened. That was a fairly big chunk of paint to come off. I also got a couple new chips in the hood as you've seen in that little bit of B-roll there. Unfortunately, some of the gravel just, you can't dodge, it's just too fast. But hopefully it turns spring soon so we can get to producing some awesome card content and David can bring out the Mayada and everyone can come over and we can start working on their cars and getting them ready for the 2018 season. Couple more things before you guys go. First off, I recorded in a new format that's available on my camera. Let me know what you think if the quality is a little bit better. It is supposed to be much, much better. It does increase the file size, it actually doubles it. But if it does give you guys a little bit better quality, then I will do it. Second off, I'd like to thank you guys for 900 subs. We're at 913 subscribers on the channel right now. It's gonna be reversed, but you guys can see. And we're at, I think, 934 on Instagram. So it looks like both things are gonna be breaking 1,000 right around the same time, which is awesome because there's gonna be big things happening on everything. And I'm already producing a video for 1,000 subscribers just for you guys. It's crazy to think that a year ago, I wasn't even at 100. It was at one of the season openers and I was trying to break 100 at, and now we're almost at 1,000, which is awesome. You guys make it all worthwhile. You guys have a lot of awesome comments. I try to get back to everyone's comments, but again, thank you for 900 and I can't wait for 1,000 and much, much more after that. But as always, peace out and stay humble.